Hello everyone, I'm Rakhmi and I'm back with the another question of NCRT Flakes chapter number 12 class 11. So in this video, I will be discussing the question number 27, page number 363. So let's just check out what is the question. Name a suitable technique of separation of the components from a mixture of calcium sulfate and camphor. So we need to know, we need to tell the suitable technique of separation of the components from a mixture of calcium sulfate and camphor. So there are two methods uh, for separation of these two components from the mixture. First uh, method I will be discussing, see, uh, camphor it is uh, soluble in uh, the organic solvents. So organic solvents so it can be tetrachloromethane or it can be chloromethane etc. So, when the camphor will in organic solvents, it uh, soluble and it will be dissolved. But CaSO4 will be dissolved in calcium sulfate. It will be organic uh, solvents, so it will be left as a residue. So, when I have a mixture of components, I have a camphor and calcium sulfate. If I add the organic solvents such as chloroform, you say, chloroform, so, camphor jo hai, it will be soluble in that chloroform solvent. Okay, wo chloroform is soluble. But the calcium sulfate hai, wo insoluble and we will be seeing the residue left of calcium sulfate. So, we have calcium sulfate ko to separate out kar liya because it was left as a residue. Now, the solvent is not going to be able to do solution. I am having the organic solvent, uh, chloroform, and my organic compound and calcium sulfate so in uh, solution mein calcium sulfate to residue ki tarah mujhe dikh raha hai lekin jo baaki ka jo mere paas solvent solution bacha hai wo kiska solution hai organic solvent plus camphor ka hai tab main usko filter out kar lungi calcium sulfate ko alag kar lungi jo filtrate mujhe milega usko main evaporate karungi evaporation se mujhe kya mil jayega mujhe mera camphor back mil jayega so this is one of the technique by which i can uh, separate out the components of the mixture which contain calcium sulfate as well as Camphor. Next method is that camphor is sublimable. So, when I sublimation, what is it? 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 उस पेट पेपर को अच्छे से पैक कर दूंगी मतलब पैक कर दूंगी चैनलिस्ट के ऊपर ठीक है वो कवर हो जाएगा ना चैनलिस्ट के इसमें होल्स हैं उस चैनल उस पेपर पे आई विल बी नाउ पुटिंग माय फनल उल्टा करके फनल को रख दूंगी मैं ठीक है फनल आपने देखा होगा सब्लिमेशन आपने अपने लेबोरेटरीज में किया होगा फाइन अब मैं उसकी हीटिंग करूंगी कैंपर जो सब्लिमेबल है जैसे हीटिंग करूंगी तो कैंपर मेरे को फनल्स के चारों तरफ फनल्स की बॉल्स की तरफ में मुझे दिखने लग जाएगा so now you can see the compounds, the components have, have been now separated. Camphor is now present on the balls of the funnel while my CSO4 is still in the channel dish. So now both of my components have separated out, separated out ho by the process of elimination. So these are the two methods by, by which I can separate my mixture of components containing calcium sulfate as well as camphor. So uh, let's see over here. A mixture of CS4 and camphor can be separated by the following two methods. Camphor being sublimable but CS4 is not. Sublimation of the mixture gives the camphor on the sides of the funnel while CS4 is left in channel. Fine. Camp, second method, camphor is soluble in organic solvents like uh, chloroform and tetrachloromethane etc. While CS4 is not. When the mixture is shaken uh, with the solvent, uh, camphor goes into the solution while CSO4 remains as residue. It is then filtered and evaporation of uh, what we say solvent gives us the camphor. So these are the two methods by uh, which we can separate the mixture of CSO4 and camphor. This was all about this question and it's me Raki saying you goodbye now.